Hello and welcome to Talkback. In recent weeks, the CNG issue has developed from a problem for commuters into a major matter of public concern. And the question arises, has it been mishandled? And more importantly, how do we now put things right? Well, those are the two questions that we shall try and answer today. And with me, Senior Supreme Court Lawyer Abhishek Manu Singhvi, the Minister of Transport from the Delhi Government, Pervez Hashmi, the Minister of Petroleum and Natural Gas from the National Democratic Alliance government, Ram Naik, and the General Secretary of the Delhi Contract Bus Association, Harish Sabarwal. Gentlemen, I want obviously to mainly concentrate on the situation that actually exists today, its implications, consequences, and of course its solutions. But to be able to do so, let's just go back briefly a little bit in time. And let me put this to you as, in a sense, a lawyer and an independence person, Mr. Singhvi. Looking back with hindsight, was the Supreme Court right to identify CNG as the sole clean fuel or do you think it was misadvised and perhaps wrongly led into doing so and it should also have thought about LPG and ULSD and remember these are decisions that go back to July 98. Uh, the identification of CNG as a significant pollution reducing fuel is not wrong. I do believe that a dual fuel regime should be considered because excessive reliance on one fuel and monopolization by one fuel is not necessarily safe. But CNG, first of all, there are three aspects to it. First of all, technologically, CNG is a very significant pollution reducer. It in fact reduces pollution more than most other fuels, in particular particulate matters and NO2s and SO2s other things. Secondly, uh, the court was concerned, I think, that liquid fuels, all forms of liquid fuels, have a very strong possibility of adulteration which is missing in CNG. Now I am not against a dual fuel regime indeed I think that ultra low sulphur diesel which is talked about now should also be considered. But I would object to the consideration of an alternative fuel to the exclusion of CNG. There is no reason why a proper comprehensive well thought out dual fuel regime policy is not thought out. But what about the opposite which is what has happened that you do not have a dual fuel regime, you actually have a single fuel regime that yes. seems to concentrate on CNG as the only clean fuel. Was that in a sense wrong advice given to the Supreme Court? Well, at that time uh, in 98 of course it was the other options were not considered in detail but subsequently other options were considered. There is a portion in the report of the Burelal committee which suggests that only ultra uh, uh, low sulphur diesel of below a very small specification 0 0.005 alone or 0 0.001 alone would be usable and it is for that reason that the Supreme Court decided not to have it. Now I think that uh, the central government also and indeed all the other actors in this whole thing did not put it strongly enough or put the material strongly enough to show that other fuels are also viable. Perhaps the stage has come now. The central government certainly is thinking of doing so the and I think there is nothing wrong in that. The other aspect of this matter Mr. Hashmi is that this in a sense experiment because <coughs> it was an experiment when it was yes. thought of in 98 was done in the central capital Delhi. Do you think that perhaps it should have been done in a smaller city rather than in Delhi? Absolutely right and uh, for that from no sooner we took over charge of this government we started saying this is not the only solution for this state at least because Delhi we if we keep Delhi as an experimental place as you have said now it is creating problem what I said two and a half years back it is coming in front of us. One of the things that you have pointed out in your advertisements that came out in the month of April in several newspapers is that although the order to convert to CNG mm. was issued in July 98, the technology to manufacture CNG buses did not come into being till late 99. Yes. So, is there a s mismatch somewhat between noble intentions but actual practical reality? Actually, I tell you one thing when in 1996 a Sumo was filed by some government official during the regime of the past government, you know, and they said the CNG is the only option, the best fuel available. You I state government, I am saying, I am not pointing on you, <laughs> please. You are suggesting, uh, but however, your counterparts, the, they were in power here. So, uh, you are actually suggesting, forgive me interrupting you, that your predecessors yeah. <coughs> perhaps could have pointed out certain facts to the court and did not, 
You're also suggesting that your predecessors in advising the court that CNG was the only and the best regime may have misled the court. You're saying both no, things. They, they not only advised the court, they have filed a summit affidavit and they said this is the only option available which is the best uh, pollution, loo, pollution free option for this state. Then the court said, ki, okay, if you are saying this is the best uh, option available for the pollution to reduce pollution in Delhi, then go ahead. Okay. What is the fault of the court then? Mr. Samar, there is one third issue about the background that I want to take up before I go into the present day situation and that is to do with the fact that the court order primarily concerns commercial vehicles, auto rickshaws, taxis, buses. It does not cover mm -hmm. privately owned vehicles. Do you think that that is an unfair exclusion? Uh, you may say it is unfair or it is our unfortunate that they have only covered our commercial vehicles and that too in not phase manner. Otherwise, they would have tried uh, on phase manner. First, they should cover government vehicles. Then, they should switch over to private commercial vehicles and then to private owners. So, there is a real sense in which whether it is the nature of the fuel that was identified as the sole clean fuel or the city that was identified or the advice given by the predecessors in the city as government or the exclusion of private vehicles. In all these areas, you tend to feel that with hindsight, and I know we are only saying this with hindsight, perhaps the matter could have been better handled. Would you agree with that? Um, well, I think it is always easy to be wise by hindsight. You have to act on the basis of materials available uh, then. I, as I said, I think it was a start. The court was wanting to make a beginning and we must concede and I think this is not really only a party matter or a political matter or a divisive matter. I think everybody must concede that a certain degree of improvement happens when you start using CNG. It is happening slowly, but people where, who notice it when it happens are appreciative of it. Now, therefore, the court was making a start. The court cannot deal with the issue as large as this at one go. The intentions That's were perfectly honorable. The intentions were noble, they were based on few, material. There may have been a few wrong decisions taken based upon bad advice, but those cannot default the intentions. A and B, I just add this much that the, the, the advice and the material is also an evolving process. You keep getting more ideas, you keep getting more inputs. It is not that it is an objective thing. Once stated, it is over. At that time, certainly CNG was considered a major advance, but I do not think it, the court has ruled out any stage any other additional fuel. Okay, let us now come to the present situation and as you notice Minister Saab, I deliberately left you out of the earlier background because you do not want to be involved mm -hmm. in commenting on a court that is a tricky thing for you as a central minister to do. But the court now referring to the situation on the ground today has said certain things which have led people to believe that your ministry has misled them. Let me quote so that you can respond. The court has said, we were told that Indraprasth Gas Limited has 95 percent excess CNG and has completed all filling arrangements for vehicles. And today they are saying they do not have any idea of the actual demand of CNG in the capital. And then the court adds, according to the Petroleum Minister, the demand for CNG is far more than the supply received by it. What do we believe and whom do we believe? Now I can <coughs> explain the facts facts as Mr. Sangavi has already said that originally 98 order was basically limited to buses and other vehicles like autos, taxis were not originally included. They were included by the order of 26th March. So, taking into consideration that the availability of giving CNG to the existing vehicles is very much there. Now, the additional autos uh, which have come in the last 4-5 months, now for that there has been some mismatch, mismatch in the sense that we were to have 87 CNG stations by the end of September for which we are bringing 14 new compressors to be installed so that the filling can be quicker. Now, that is to come by end September and the vehicles have come prior to that. <coughs> that is the reason why we see such long queues <coughs> and uh, one more important aspect is that what do we do now hereafter that you will Absolutely. observe. Absolutely. Can, can I just ask there, there I would say that whatever vehicles have <coughs> come and whatever vehicles would come in view of the court order of 26th March right from 98 to 26th March 2001. It, is, it would be our endeavor to give CNG to all of them. What we have been telling to the Supreme Court is that more than that, 
we can't handle we do not have at present so we will not be in position to give mr That's the mr mr there are several important issues that arise mm. from what you said and i deliberately didn't interrupt you because i thought it's only right that you should have a chance to answer to the in a sense charges made by the supreme court against your ministry are you saying that when you gave an assurance to the court that there would be adequate cng you were in fact doing so in terms of the original limited order which only covered mm -hmm. buses you weren't doing it in terms of the additional order which brought taxis and autos into the picture is that right that is right but i would not like to comment on that only because supreme court has made some observations on 17th august when the case came for hearing thereafter supreme court has advised that government of india delhi government they should place uh, their issues before the amicus curi he would look into all that and after that we had a meeting with the chief minister of delhi mr uh, hashmi was also present and we have decided to sort out the issues which will follow the supreme court directions and ensure that there is minimum inconvenience to the auto drivers or to the taxi drivers or to the commuters in law and as you know we're all interested in sorting out the issue but to sort <laughs> out the issue we have to actually understand how we got into this position otherwise we can't sort it out and that's why i want to put this to you the minister mr hashmi has explained how they ended up being a mismatch between the original order and the original understanding and as a result on the basis of the original understanding the ministry advised that there would be sufficient cng Sir, the order then changed and there wasn't let me bring up a second aspect uh, this is not to do with supply of cng this is to do with the actual existing of filling stations you don't have enough in delhi even if supply was sufficient the outlets through which they get distributed is grossly insufficient why don't we have enough filling stations so filling stations is their duty sir again uh, with due respect sir you are my senior i'd like to bring in your notice sir on very clearly court mentioned in 1998 orders ki the city fleet will be on cng will be not less than 10000 buses 10000 buses means mean today if we requires uh, the quantity of cng we require is more than 10 lakh kilogram of cng today no don't uh, what i am saying sir, sir what i am saying no sir uh, what i am saying if suppose we, we would have brought all the buses so there would have been total chaos in delhi because people they are afraid of bringing cng now okay, okay. because just, just so that the audience can understand are you suggesting that even in terms of the original order which was simply limited to buses and excluded all those even in budget. terms of that I'm the not, government's I, I don't assurance agree. no are you suggesting yeah. that even in terms of that limited original order the government's assurance is wrong is that what you're suggesting yes obviously wrong because 10 lakhs kilo of the cng we would have been required for 10000 number so of buses there are the buses ultimately sir well, what's no, I'll, I'll, i'll let you know see my issue is even today sir i'll i'll let you in the middle sir answer into agreement uh, into controversy or argument my issue is that this is a new scheme hmm. now new scheme of mass transport it takes time to settle down and now we must ensure that whatever uh. has been ordered so far must settle down and then we can go for the next stage so what i would like to say in a real sense you represent the people who are caught in the middle there is a certain incipient disagreement they're both being gentlemen they're not letting it get out of control but there's a certain incipient disagreement between what advice his government gave and its predecessors which contradicts him what the ministry said and whether he agrees with it leave that aside the reality is that you your contractors and the auto rickshaw drivers and the taxi drivers are caught in the middle of it Do you feel bitter? No, sir. We are not feeling bitter. We are suffering, and uh, I differ a little on this opinion. I think uh, it's uh, only Shri Bhorilal Committee who has suggested some priority measures to Honorable Supreme Court, and uh, you can very well judge by yourself only. On one hand, uh, they are suggesting the augmentation of ten thousand city buses. they are expecting to introduce 10000 city buses by dtc only a part of our buses lili li, that sir come uh, back to the actual situation of the people on the road give us a sense of how many hours sir, does a bus I'm driver have to wait come to that point i'm coming to that point only how many hours does a bus driver have to wait 24 hours to 36 hours at least and how long does the fuel last when he gets it for one day only so our bus cannot run more than 220 kilometers per day so every second day every second a day, bus driver is waiting yeah. 24 or 36 hours so to be more clear that we cannot we are not in position to run our cng bus on the roads for 15 days in a month 
And what is the situation for auto rickshaws and taxi drivers the same? Same is there. I am so also suffering sir, I am also transferring as a DTC fleet we have. Uh -huh. When I met Ram Nagy, with due respect sir, you are, we are uh, here the in fact. front of the audience. I had four filling stations. When I had hundred some odd buses on CNG. Till date I have four filling stations. When I have 1200 CNG buses, half of the fleet is not being filled. Okay. I am fitting up to uh, filling let's up to 24 let, days. Let, 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 let's take up the matter. I'm also I just say, you say you are also a transporter because yes, you are Minister of Transport. But the lawyers in court have alleged that your government has perhaps wrongly included auto rickshaws and taxis in an order that did not intend to cover them initially. How do you in answer that? The order is with me. 1998 order is with me. You go ahead with the order and see. Even I tried, I told them when honorable court passed an order that there will be 100 percent CNG then I filed a applica leave application because there should be a tank for 2 liters of petrol just for the allow. No, no, no. Did the original order include auto rickshaws or not? Yes. I yes, have it, it did. Yes, I so have when Mr. Nariman me. stands up in court and suggests that he didn't, and that I the have copy of the order. So it Mr. includes pre-1990 orders. orders. The first order dated 28th of July 98 includes pre-1990 orders, and the second order, final order, that is dated 26th of March itself, includes in all the orders. 2001. Yeah, 2001. Yes. 2001. Yes. Then they include so, all the orders. So are you suggesting that the comment or interpretation made by lawyers, including Mr. Nariman, who is a very leading lawyer and yeah. an MP? That his interpretation is wrong? Oh, sir, there, there may be a mistake. Frame the order. May may be a mistake. Mistake. Clarify yeah. this for us, your no, The factual thing is quite clear. The pre 90 uh, vehicles autos were included in the earlier order, and the post has come only after the March 2001 order. That's there in black and white. Yeah. I don't think there can so be controversy there about that. Was there, there is an interregnum the during which yes. the Delhi government was advising auto rickshaws to convert and taxis to convert when it didn't perhaps need to do that? Well, it was it is supposed to be advising a very large mass of pre 1990 vehicles, which it has to also convert. But the real point, I think we are going away from the real point if I may say so, uh, Karan. The, the, the real point appears to be that here we are all, it is clear, not arguing on the remedy. We seem to agree that the remedy of CNG by itself may not be bad, but the infrastructure to support it is not there. Well, but the problem, the, that is what I want to come to because I think, I think it is only when we understand what went wrong that we can move to talk about the remedy. The problem at the moment is that everyone's understanding of what went wrong is not just divergent, yes. but it is also partisan. That's why the court is there to finalize it. <laughs> what is the right and wrong? Sir, in what what, what the suffering party? <laughs> yeah, what name, we three, both no, the name three steps that you would like them to take that will ease the situation. Sir, I would like to request both the governments with due respect that they should come forward and they should tell the court the actual position yeah. and figures. They should come forward with the that type of affidavit they should file. They should form a, in my opinion, they should form a transport comprehensive policy. No, no, but can you not, as a man suffering, yeah. identify three steps that will help the situation? So first, first of all, the first step is that both the government should sit together and frame a comprehensive transport policy. Which but that will take lacking. at least a month or two to do. Yeah, wh whenever it is. But we what are about the bank. situation? So when we are converting no, to no, CNG, they people have started talking about LNG and LPG. Then again, propane and electrical. Then we, we are in dark uh, today. You are talking about mid term or long term solutions. Long -term solution. Is there nothing that can be done here and now to improve the situation in the next week perhaps? They can tell you better how to improve this situation. We are at suffering. I am going to come to you. Last minister, yeah. let me come to you. What can be done in the next 4, 5, 6 days to ease the queues that are basically becoming upsetting for people so in I Delhi? I would like to suggest Delhi government first. They should exclude all those buses, those are not covered by the order. So, they have ordered for city buses only and our tourist buses can, that that? can be. Yeah, can you can exclude be buses not covered by the order as he is suggesting? How can we? Because the uh, as per uh, amendment brought in the parliament and passed by the parliament in 1994, CNG buses are not covered with this. Uh, we, uh, we are they are not covered with government uh, policies you know and we cannot take any action uh, against them we have yeah, to just about tourist buses which play which do play anyway, out tourist stations buses also. we have gone to Where court CNG to take clear order ki for tourist buses they should exclude as yeah. uh, when will the we court give you its decision Huh? When will the court give on you? On 31st decision? of uh, September, the case is. Uh, so, till the 21st of will September, there will be no will solution be regarding this issue. We agree. We agree Minister Saab, let me come to you. Can you think of steps which will ease the suffering, or is there no solution in the short term? No, there is a solution, and we are striving 
and I hope the Delhi government and the transport operators will also cooperate. What is in the that. solution? Number one, Supreme Court had said that there should be 80 CNG stations by 30th September. We propose to do 87. So when we increase that number, there will be some relief. Now the, some time is being taken to fill in the gas. Now for that we are we are bringing 14 compressors and uh, even Delhi government. Uh, can present, I, can, can oh I, can no, I presently they are having only four. We are adding five to them, so they will have nine stations. So like that, 14 compressors coming and in being installed before 30th September will certainly relieve the situation. But can, I, can, I, can I ask a critical yes. question? The Supreme Court may have said you need 80 filling stations, you are giving the city 87, but have you done an independent survey to judge whether even 87 is sufficient? That, that is perfectly right. That number, I do not know how the Supreme Court arrived at that, but 87 is not sufficient. So what we have done in the meanwhile in the last one and a half months, that there are more petrol pumps where some land is available. Because to get land even for uh, establishing a sale. And you are going to take over that no, land? No, those we have identified and we have identified 50 more places where additional CNG stations can be installed. So it How long will that take? It would take about 6 months at the most. Uh, well, that is a long time no, for people spending no, no, 24 no. See, to 36 these, hours every second 14, day. 14 compressors which I am bringing, they are not made in India, I am importing them. Uh, the, for I have let's come, be specific, I sir, how many mother stations complete. are there? But let how me many mother stations for let our buses? Complete. See, what we are doing in the next one and a half month, that I am expected to be informed to all and through you, the audience. Now, these nine additional, we are in, in fact air freighting them and they will be installed before September. So, to that extent, there will be reduction and the other things, when the amicus curie, Solicitor General uh, Mr. Sarve, he is in dialogue with us. We are placing our views, both of us, to them. And I hope a solution which will be acceptable to all and which will reduce but the that's only a hope. Will that's only a hope. You are asking me what I, what I am supposed to no, do in the uh, next one and a half month. Can, can I, this I, is what I will can be I, doing. Can I put something to you? The audience listening will have formed the following opinion, I think, that we rushed into a situation without authenticating properly and scientifically whether the supply was there, whether the technology to actually convert to CNG was there, whether there were sufficient filling stations to supply the demand. And now we are having to import equipment from outside the country, we are having to spend time acquire land to convert over 6 months into filling stations. We have rushed into it with the best intentions and real people are suffering. Well. Uh that is certainly an element of truth in that because uh, the very nature of judicial adjudication is such that it trigger, it push, it starts a new initiative, it acts where it sees executive abdication and therefore it gives a new initiative and that but, but initiative unless me, without intending contempt of court and you yes. are a lawyer so hopefully you will guide me, but so is I this not an example where perhaps in future judicial initiative should be more restrained because by setting deadlines yes. we have rushed in. Everyone wishes to comply with the court, no one wishes to defy the court, but we have rushed in headlong with the great intentions into a situation where his people so spend... Like no, let me explain this. Let me explain this. Let me explain this. Let me explain this. What is happening is that we are now telescoped at the end of the deadline and we are reacting then. Do not forget the order is 1998. Do not forget that nothing much Sorry, happens in the initial period from 98 for a while, nothing happens. Thereafter, things happen slowly. Diesel buses are bought, diesel buses are cancelled. What is happening is that most of the activity is telescoped in the last 12 months to 18 months. So what you are saying is that judicial that is activism that is one. To corroborated by political lethargy right, has led to a situation where without attributing blame, people like him and auto rickshaw drivers and taxi Certainly. drivers are suffering. I would go further, I would go further. When you are in the throes of a change, when a complete sea change is being made in the way we run our city on transport, there is bound to be the birth pangs, the birth pains. And I'm, I, I can tell you that this will have to be born and suffered to some extent by the people. The answer has to be how to act and to, for example, I was very happy to note that the Chief Minister of Delhi and the Cabinet Minister met. I believe that one of your important short term measures should be immediate formation of a permanent joint action committee by the central government and the state government. This is not a party political issue, it is not a divisive very issue. Quickly, a is, permanent is, body. Is that something that the two of you can agree on? Because you have differed, meet every week you've differed so much, even in this studio, even while trying not to differ. 
Can you agree on this committee? Your chief minister yes, yes, and you, Mr. I am ready. And we are working on that line. The problem gets solved only We are there. working on that line. And I tell you one thing more very shortly, very quickly, that I never supported this cause. I always opposed ki I will okay, not be able to implement CSE in one stroke. One point which still can be done like in the short term is uh, some of I the stations the still uh, have not got the electricity connection. Because of that, the compressor right, and it was a problem that can be done. We have brought, brought to their notice. Can we you get DVD to continue no, and maintain They have just supply. brought it in the neutral. We have to put so, uh, so many long uh, uh, feeders, you know. We have to provide so many long feeders. This is another example they? of the lack of preparedness, you see. Yeah. The, 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 real message, the real message that is going out of here is that with the best intentions, we have rushed into a situation for which we were unprepared. We did not think, we did not calculate. We did not bear in mind that Certainly. real people suffer. Do you think taxi drivers on the road say this? Let me put this to you. They say that if lawyers, ministers, sometimes without intending any contempt of court, they say if even journalists actually were auto drivers, we would never have ended up with this situation. You did it because you people do not drive autos. Do you think that is true? You're nodding. No, you're embarrassed. Yes, <laughs> no, Do you no, think no. that's true? But I agree. agree. I I in my, in my life, I have dri driven auto rickshaws, but not at the present situation. No, not now. Huh? But Sir, if in there, when they were first introduced me, in Mumbai, if they were supposed to give us CNG stations, educate gas, and they were supposed to give us the conversion agencies, and manufacturers were supposed to give us the sufficient number of buses, if Can these all agencies have miserably failed in performing their duties then why my operators have been thrown out of business? That is the point I was making. Yeah. If, 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 if everything would have been okay, but none of then those ifs have, have happened converted. and the sad part is that you are suffering. Yeah, we are suffering. And the point I am making is world. the reason people we like will, you are suffering would, yeah. is because ministers, journalists, mm -hmm. judges, perhaps lawyers do not actually drive Why not these agencies <laughs> being hanged by honorable Supreme Court? Those are enjoying on our cost. Okay, one last point. Another message that perhaps has gone out from the studio incipiently, not as forcefully as the first message, is that there is continuing difference between the two of you. There is no difference. No, no, no. He he is ready to People have sensed it. Mr. Mr. Hashmi is saying that there is no difference. I think that is sufficient. No, <laughs> because we want the joint action committee to, to solve all future differences. Can I, can I, can, 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 can I, on behalf of… I believe, Honorable Minister, yes. what he is saying, can I ask will be able to give, provide gas by 30th of September for the adequate uh, CNG vehicles uh, available till date. Can I ask yes. on behalf? Can I ask on behalf of the people of yeah. Delhi who are actually suffering and who see these lines and who don't like it? Can the two of you agree to put your political differences aside for five weeks, meet every single day, and take the solutions and measures necessary? Can you agree on that? We are doing that. We have already we started. Have started doing it, and for this, it is not necessary to meet daily. Yeah. Whenever issues come, we meet and we'll definitely sort out. And these long, long, long queues will be over before 30th September. That much assurance well, I can give to the people of Delhi at last. And I on thank that, you on behalf of people of Delhi. Then. On that assurance, but the people of Delhi will do the thanks themselves when the situation improves. Don't presume to do it for them, <laughs> Mr. Ashmi. But as they say That's colloquially, absolutely. on that assurance from both of you, let's keep our fingers crossed. All of mine are crossed, literally. We need all the help we can get because this is a situation that costs people their happiness. Let's hope things improve and improve quickly. That's it for this week. Talk back. We'll be back next week. Make sure you two are back with us. Till then, goodbye. Good night.